Hello, welcome to this training. My name is Claudemir Martins and today we're going to talk about the basics of CCTV. If you don't have experience with CCTV, you're going to learn the basics right now. So let's get it started. So this is introduction to CCTV. What is CCTV? It's a closed circuit television used to monitor and record videos to have evidence. The, just basic like this, right? There's more for CCTV, of course, but let's keep simple like this right now and later you can learn more. So let's have an idea here how a traditional system works. Let's start with the analog system. So here I have my cameras, could be different kind of cameras, analog cameras. And then here I have my analog monitor. And I also have my monitor station. This is a computer with the software to monitor the system, right? And then in the middle of everything, I have the DVR. DVR is the digital video recorder. Use it to record the videos from the cameras. So what I'm gonna do is just connect some cables from the cameras to the DVR, one cable per camera. And I'm gonna use this type of camera. It's a coaxial cable you connect from the camera to your DVR. And then you can also connect the same type of cable from your DVR to your analog monitor. One cable more from the DVR to the monitor station, that'll be the network cable. So this, the system is very simple. The camera sends the video, it's analog video to the DVR. The DVR is going to convert from analog to digital and can record them in a hard drive. And you can also see using a monitor in analog format, or you can see through your network using your computer or even a tablet or cell phone. But the video needs to be converted from analog to digital so you can see in your computer. So you have at first analog camera with 600 TV lines. TVL stands for TV lines. TV lines is the resolution of the cameras. Uh, analog camera has the resolution in TV lines. So in that case, 600 TV lines. And then in the analog monitor, you see exactly the same. You're still seeing the resolution in TV lines. TV lines, it's a analog resolution, right? And then here in the DVR, you can convert from analog to digital. You can see here the A to D means analog to digital. And we do that, we convert to another format that's called 4C. 4C means you have 704 by 480 pixels. That's the amount of pixels you have in your screen. In your computer, you're going to see 704 by 480. That's the number of pixels you're going to see in your screen in digital format. That's, that also means that the resolution is 0 0.3 megapixel. Even you can say 4 SIF, you can say 7, 704 by 480 pixels, or you can even say 0 0.3 megapixel. That's the same thing. And now you, of course, start recording your video in your DVR because you already converted from analog to digital. For a traditional IP system, it's a little bit different. So I have here my cameras, look like the same models, but they, they are different right now, they're IP cameras. And then I have here my NVR, that's my recorder, and I also have a monitoring station. Now it's different because in the middle of everything, I have my switch and then I connect my cameras to the switch. Look, looks like similar to the, the other system, but it's a little bit different because right now I'm using the switch to connect everything. And in this switch, I'm going to use a network cable directly from the camera to the switch. And here I connect also a network cable to the NVR, the recorder. And to the monitor station, I also use a network cable. You see the difference? I have no coaxial cable here. I have no analog system. Everything is digital ready from the camera to the NVR, from the camera to the record, and the NVR is the recorder, right? From the camera also to the monitoring station. Everything here is digital, 
from the starting from the camera to the monitor station, everything digital. So in that case, I have two megapixel camera. I don't have like TV line resolution anymore because now I'm talking about TV, about uh, digital resolution. Digital resolution is in pixel and I uh, megapixel, for example, I have two megapixel camera. And then I can record those two megapixel camera in the NVR and I can also show in my monitoring station the two megapixel image from this camera. And then of course I start recording my image in my NVR. Here an example when I go to buy a camera I can go to Amazon for example and I type there Samsung analog camera 600 TV lines and then I get this look here I have 600 TV lines also here 600 TV lines also here 600 TV lines those are analog cameras analog resolution Let's see example number two, buying a camera. Now I'm going to talk about Samsung IP camera, two megapixel. Just an example, you have a lot of different brands there, but I'm looking for a Samsung camera here, for example. And then you have full HD or 1080p or two megapixel camera. It's the same thing. Everything's the same thing here, right? Full HD means 1080, means two megapixel or 1920 by 1080 is the, exactly the same thing. Then I also here, I have here two megapixel camera and also have here camera 1080p. So be careful with that. It means exactly the same thing. Doesn't matter if it's two megapixel, 1080 or for which full HD is the same camera. You can also here see here two megapixel, right? And that's it. Um, and now for the distribution, network you have the manufacturer of the camera you have the distributor you have the integrator and you have the end customer probably you are one of those right if you are like integrator for example you're gonna make the project for your end customer and you're gonna buy from a distributor and you can install the camera right so this is everything for today thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video